Alrighty guys, so in case you missed the video title, I played Kiana for 30 days straight. You guys really enjoyed when I did the Katarina version of this video, so I am here to share my journey, how I started, how I ended in terms of skill, and everything in between to go from a complete dog water Kiana player to a pretty good Kiana player. So. First things first, let's start with the basics. At the beginning of the 30 days, I had to have been one of the worst players I've ever seen myself look at. And that's uh, honestly not that hard for me to say compared to a lot of league players, but I was absolutely terrible. And I knew this, and I knew I had no clue what I was doing in terms of the combos in specific, in lane, out of lane, just all general mechanics. So what did that mean? I meant that I had to literally uh, get my ass onto YouTube and start looking at a guide. First things first, learn the mechanics, learn the basics, and learn what the better players are doing uh, in normal situations, your everyday situations, the, uh, the stuff that happens all the time. So the first thing we checked out was this. One of my favorite league YouTubers in terms of education is Doby. We checked out a video on secret Kiana tips and tricks, and not only does it have the really intense advanced mechanics, it also has all of the basic mechanics, the intermediate mechanics, and it's usually my favorite place to start when I'm looking for a educational channel. Starting with that video, we were able to learn the right runes, items, lane mechanics, combos, and all that stuff, but here's the problem. I was still literally trash, I, I, absolutely trash, like the worst form of trash possible. So I was starting to realize that that was not enough. And one thing I do want to mention is that Kiana is literally the hardest champion I have ever played in my entire life, uh, from what I can remember, at least in the past six years. Because Akali has always come easy to me. I've been playing her before she was even on the PBE. I've been playing her at Riot, then the PBE, then live. Since as long as she has been an existing champion somewhere, somehow. But Kiana is a different story. She is such an incredibly difficult champion to master combos. Not only that, she has a lot less leniency. If you jump in and mess up your combos, she doesn't have a obnoxiously safe shroud. She doesn't have several dashes that fly you over walls. She has one, which is cool. And then I guess an E if you, you know, you do it right, but that doesn't count. Anyways, it was very difficult. So the second thing I knew I had to do was start looking at the better players, the pro players, the one tricks in China, etc, etc. And that is exactly what we did. Between that 1000 LP, Chinese super server, Kiana one trick, and several other people, the best strategy other than practicing is to absorb as much high elo content as possible. And that's exactly what we did. Between streams, I was watching guides. Between streams, I was watching gameplays. And slowly, slowly but surely, things did start to click. The combos weren't completely gibberish. Uh, it didn't look like a foreign language trying to figure out exactly what to do. But there were still points where I didn't even realize so many small mechanics here and there. Like, you run faster uh, when you're on the element that you're holding. That was one thing I didn't know. I didn't realize that you can ult in the river and you don't need a wall. So many confusing things to this champion. But you know what? Practice makes perfect. No one ever was a professional after their first game, except maybe a faker when he was born. Other than that, you know, you do have to practice. It does take a lot of work, and that's exactly what we did. We put in some practice and we started getting better. So now that we had more than just the absolute five IQ combos that a toddler can do, it was time to bump up the aggression. I think this is something that really no one ever thinks to do, unless you watch my streams because I talk about it pretty often, but you need to start playing aggressive. And I don't mean just like, you know, you start throwing more poke outs instead of going for minions. I mean, when the pros say that you can kill people at level three on Kiana, you go for level three kills every game. Unless there's a million minions, yeah, yeah, I'm not saying int because obviously that ruins the next 30 minutes, but you get the point. It was time to increase aggression by 5,000%, and that is also exactly what we did. I started playing way more aggro in lane, 
just trying to pick up solo kills and started roaming, started shoving waves. Eventually, everything started making a lot sense much faster because I was able to put myself in way more situations. I would say the average passive player will, will put themselves in three to five situations where they can really learn from the early and mid game per game. Other than that, you're really just like throwing basic poke out and sharp shoving the wave and waiting for late game. But we were definitely trying to kill people in lane, roam every single wave. And you can only imagine how good that is, how much faster you're gonna learn doing that and getting good compared to being a little bitch under your tower. And I hate to say it, but you know, you don't play assassins to be safe. You don't play any champion to play safe. It's a video game. Stop hiding under your tower, people. Ugh. Anyways, uh, moving on. Things started to click. I wasn't a diamond or challenger Keanu one trick, but I was at least starting to hit that gold platinum level. The combos were all starting to make sense. Situations where I'm waiting in a brush and the AD carry comes by, or situations where I need to jump past multiple people and go for a one shot. All these situations that can happen once or twice every few games are starting to make a lot of sense in real time. It's all about practice. And after those situations started making sense, it was time to move on to the next step, which was to look at our own gameplay, see what we could have done better, because now that we know how the champion works fundamentally, now that we know how to play at a decent level, we can see what our own mistakes are in our own gameplay and take it from there. So that is exactly what we did. We were looking at our own gameplays, we're putting them on replay situations where we royally freaked up, situations where we actually did pretty well, and things, just medium plays to see what we could have done better. And this is something that the best coaches in the world have preached since the beginning of League of Legends. Watch your own replays or do your own VOD reviews as they say. So that is exactly what we did and that just added another level of getting better at the champion. And if there's one thing you can tell from the theme of this video is that there are a lot of things you can do to get better at League of Legends or at a specific champion in general much faster than just playing the champion over and over again. However, there is something to be said. It is a video game. You should have fun. And if that's not fun, I would say don't do it. But the point is, there are things that people do to get better than you. It's not just a matter of your brain not work as well. It's not only about practice, it's about perfect practice. Practice doesn't make perfect, perfect practice makes perfect. And I think that's a good theme to go for this video, the 30 days of Katarina video, and just trying to get better at a champion in general, is practice playing the right way and practice learning the right way. So, on that note, after 30 days of playing Kiana, I can safely say that I still suck at that champion. She is a really freaking, she's way too hard. I can't even believe how difficult she is. Is this what it feels like for people to play Akali and try to main her? This has to be exactly that because this is blowing my mind. She is so, so hard. I think she she might actually be harder than Akali, but maybe it's just because I know how to play her. I'm used to her. But either way, oh my gosh. Guys, in the comments, Tell me which champion is harder, Kiana or Akali. I'm very curious to know what you guys think uh, from your perspective. But um, other than that, to wrap up this video, 30 days of Kiana, we learned how to go from a completely terrible player to just like a medium trash player. So, you know, it, at least that's what my teams would call me every single game. <laughs> no, but jokes aside, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know who you want me to play next for 30 days straight. I was thinking Zed, but let me know in the comments down below. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and thank you guys for watching. Have a good day. Peace out.